What's up, everyone? This is Lucas Ross Sports and breaking news. This came out this last Sunday. Scott Frost has been fired from Nebraska. Really saw this coming here on this Sunday. I kind of predicted Scott Frost would be gone after that loss to Georgia Southern. Nebraska off to a 1-2 and two start on the year. And I knew he was personally going to get fired. And I think Nebraska fans were saying it's finally time to go. It's finally time for him to go. And it was about that time for me. I mean, personally, if I was a Nebraska fan, I would predict them to really fire Scott Frost by this weekend. And he's gone. So, you know, Nebraska is on the coaching search now. He was there for five seasons for Nebraska. They had their ups and downs. I mean, you look at his first season, they went 4-8 and eight overall. 5-7 and seven in his second season. That was pretty much the only best season that they had under Scott Frost. 3-5 in 2020, 3-9 last year. Remember, they had all those close games last year, and they did not end up finishing those games correctly. And this year, he's off to a 1-2 and two start, but now he has fired. So overall, at Nebraska, he was 35-38, and 38 and 10, or actually, he was overall 16-31 and 31 at Nebraska, and 10-26 and 26 in conference play. So, Scott Frost definitely was not the right hire for Nebraska. I mean, I can see why they wanted him gone because it was just the inconsistency of, you know, finishing games. You know, it wasn't, you know, there wasn't any problems on the offense and defensive side of the ball. It was just the way they finished games. I mean, they would lose those close games from last year, you know, to this year. Remember, they kicked off the season against Northwestern. We thought they were going to win that game, and then they obviously blow it. Then they win their second game, but then against Georgia Southern, they blow that game. So they blow that game right there at the end of there. And to lose to Georgia Southern, yeah, that is completely embarrassing for Nebraska. And obviously for Nebraska fans, they were just wanting Scott Frost gone before the, the, before the season even started. And it's really surprising that they kept Scott Frost for another season. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed with Nebraska keeping him for another year. And like I said, he was number one on my top 10 coaches on the hot seat entering 2022. And that's what happened. Scott Frost has been fired from Nebraska. And it was a right move. I mean, if you're looking at me like, what are my thoughts on this? And yes, I think it is a right move for Nebraska. I mean, they had to hire somebody that can win games and finish games. So, I mean, Nebraska will have a coaching search, though. I mean, it's going to have, you know, it's going to be a while before they can really try to, you know, you know, win some games. But Mickey Joseph is the interim head coach for Nebraska. And Nebraska plays Oklahoma this weekend. So it's going to be a long rest of the season for Nebraska. I don't think they will make it to a bowl game now with the firing of Scott Frost, even if the players quit or not. But, you know, long way to go for Nebraska. You know, who is going to be the who's going to be the next head coach head coach for Nebraska? I mean, who will it be? So you never know who will it be. But you know, I think there are some plenty plenty of candidates out there for this job for Nebraska. But we'll have to find out at the end of the season when you know they hire a new head coach. So that is my thoughts on Scott Frost getting fired from Nebraska. And we'll have more videos throughout this week. We'll have upset alert tomorrow. If you have saw my college football videos this week, we will have not any more five takeaway videos. And we'll pretty much have, of course, you know, upset alert. And I think I'm going to try to do some five takeaways from the NFL season. I'll give you my thoughts on those. And then we'll go from the playoff, you know, top four standings. And I'll give you that. We'll continue to do that. So stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.